In this video, we will do a practice question on kinematics and specifically the relationship between power and weight. The question is, a vehicle manufacturer is considering a new engine for a sedan with CD is equal to 0.3 and AF is equal to 2 meters squared. The desired maximum speed is 160 kilometers per hour at sea level where rho is equal to 122.5 kilograms per meter cube. However, the designer selected an underpowered engine of light weight. The car and the engine weigh 9,300 newtons. That achieved a maximum speed of 120 kilometers per hour. Determine the required engine power and the final weight of the car if it is to achieve 160 km per hour speed, assuming that the 2 newton of additional engine weight is added for each horsepower of additional engine power. Our solution approach will be to express the relationship between additional engine weight in newtons and power in horsepower mathematically to determine the appropriate equation for power to be used in this case and then to solve the equation simultaneously for the unknown values. Let's extract the information that we require. Now, general information includes CD, AF, and rho. I've put those here. And then we have two cases, the underpowered engine, and then the desired engine, one and two. For the underpowered engine, we are told that its uh, maximum velocity or speed is 120 kilometers per hour. I need to convert this into meters per second for SI units. We also know that its weight is 9300 newtons and we don't know what its power is. Now for the desired engine we know that we want it to achieve 160 kilometers per hour which I've also converted to SI units and we don't know what weight or what power is required. That's what we need to find out. We also know that there is a relationship between additional engine weight and additional engine power. We'll discuss that in the next slide. Let's discuss this sentence here that gives us a relationship between additional engine weight and additional engine power. This will also help us mathematically express this relationship between weight and power that has been provided to us. This will be a crucial equation in our set of simultaneous equations. This diagram should help. Let's say that one additional engine power is this block here. This represents the change in power. Let's say that the change in weight is expressed by this diagram here because we know that two newtons of additional engine weight is added for each horsepower of additional engine power. So if there's for each horsepower of additional engine power, so one horsepower, we have two newtons of additional engine weight. So on the right hand side we have our change in weight and on our left hand side we have our change in power. To represent this phenomenon mathematically we can say that change in power is equal to half our change in weight because one block change in power is equal to half of our change in weight. Here we have the answer for our previous slide. Now we can go ahead and determine a, an equation for power. We have on the right hand side equations from the lecture slides. We know that power is generally equal to V times R. However, we have three different types of R or resistance. We know that power can be broken down into PA, PRL, 
and PG, different components. Likewise, PA can be broken down to RA times B. PRL can be broken down into RRL times B. And likewise for PG. We can take out the V. Now, Pmax should not include Rg, therefore it is equal to Vra plus Rrl. We can substitute in Ra and Rrl to get Pmax is equal to V. 0.5 rho c d a f v squared plus 0 0.01 1 plus v 44.73 w. Likewise, this can be expanded again. I'm going to do it up here because I've run out of room. P max is equal to 0.5 rho c d a f v cubed plus 0 0.01 1 plus v over 44.73 v w. So there we have it, an expression for power. Now a question is why have we found p max? We have because we are dealing with the maximum speed scenario and at this maximum speed, we know that P will also be a maximum. So at V max, P is equal to P max. Here we have our working out from the previous slide um, typed up. Now, now that we have P max, we also need to ensure that we are using consistent units because the relationship that we were given, which gave us the equation of change in P is equal to half change in W, has P in terms of horsepower and W in terms of Newtons. We know that Newtons is an SI unit, but P is not, it's in imperial. Because horsepower is an imperial unit. The SI unit for horsepower or power is watt. And we know that one horsepower is equal to 745.7 watts. Therefore, therefore, we need to convert P max from SI units to imperial units. Therefore, I will divide it by 745.7 so that Pmax is now in horsepower. Please note, I could have also converted the P in this equation to be watts, but I have chosen to convert Pmax into horsepower instead, as long as the units of P are consistent, either in horsepower or watts, the solution will be correct. Now let's solve simultaneously for our unknowns W2 and P2 as well as P1. So here we have our three equations, the relationship between P and W, and also our equation for Pmax in the first scenario or the underpowered engine scenario and our equation for Pmax in the desired engine scenario. I'll first expand equation one. Change in P is actually equal to P2 minus P1 equals half. Now change in W is also equal to W2 minus W1. For equation two, Pmax one, I can expand it, that is 0 
rho is 1.225, CD is 0 0.3, AF is 2, and V1 cubed is 33.33 cubed. This has to be summed by 0 0.01, 1 plus V1, 33.33, over 44.73, times V1, 33.33, times W1, which is 9300. This is all over 745.7. Putting this into my calculator, I get 13607 plus 5409.4 over 745.7 which is 25.5 horsepower. And now for equation three, I can substitute values in much the same as I did for equation two, although in this case our V2 is different and we don't know what W2 is. In the same manner, I substitute in the values and put plug them into my calculator and I get P max Two is equal to four hundred forty three point three plus zero point zero zero one two W two horsepower. Solving these equations simultaneously and substituting three and two into equation one, I get P two forty three point three plus 0 0.0012 to W2 minus P1, which is 25.5, is equal to half W2, which is an unknown, minus W1, which is 9300. Now I can go ahead and solve for W2. My previous equation was 43.3 plus 0 0.0012 W2 minus 25.5 equals to half W2 minus 9300. Solving this, I get W2 is equal to 9358 newtons. Now, I can solve for P1, Pmax1, but I don't need to because it is not a requirement of the question, so I won't solve it here. And I can solve for P2 because that is what's required. So substituting W2 into equation 3, um, I get Pmax2 is equal to 43.3 plus 0 0.0012, W2 is 9358. Putting that into my calculator, I get 54.5 horsepower. Therefore, for the desirable maximum speed, the weight of the car and engine should be 9358 newtons, and its power must be 54.5 horsepower. Therefore, we have solved the question. The final solution is written out here. It says, therefore, th for the engine to have the desirable maximum speed, the weight of the car and engine must be 9,358 newtons and its power must be 54.5 horsepower. Thank you for watching this video and for participating in the course and good luck.